Hello, my name is Alexandra Mazant, and I was in Granbury, Texas, and was a part of the uh, STEAM Academy at Membrino Elementary. Granbury is a part of Hood County, and is and the population is 7,978 as of 2010. It is located 35 miles southwest of Fort Worth. There are many historic locations in Granbury, like the Granbury Opera House and the Old Fashioned Drive-In Theater. These locations help bring the residents back to their roots. Or people can go to the Granbury Beach to bask in the sun and let their children run around in the water. But don't worry, there are lifeguards on, on duty here to keep everyone safe. The STEAM Academy at Mambrino is home to 594 students as of 2018. Their mission statement is recognizing that children are our future leaders of the world. As for my placement, I was placed in a second grade ELA classroom. There was one special needs student and one English language learner in my classroom, but a total of 20 students altogether. The classroom setup was made with flexible seating. Some students had wobble chairs and others had normal chairs. She also had a corner with fluffy pillows as the cool down area for her special education student. Since the students are still learning to improve their reading and writing, she has a word wall for when the students struggle to spell a word or struggle to come up with a word. She uses her smart board for pretty much everything. She uses it for her writing lessons where the app she uses will show the students how to trace the letters correctly. She also uses it for her read alouds so that the students can see the words while she reads to them. As for other forms of teaching in her classroom, the students work on iStation to track their reading and spelling progress. This is the app that my mentor teacher uses on her smart board that helps the students learn how to write the letters properly. They are able to learn how to do them in manuscript and cursive writing. This is the students' workbooks where they practice their handwriting. They work on a different letter each day, and once they are finished with manuscript, then they move on to cursive. These are the phonics tests that the students have taken. They take the phonics assessment every couple weeks to track their progress and their growth. They also meet with my mentor teacher every week to discuss their growth and figure out how to grow even further. These are used to help them work on their writing and for when they are covering different genres. For, for the classroom, I had created an assessment to help them identify the different genres based on the books they were reading in the classroom. These show the goals that each student has and the goal they are supposed to meet by the end of the year. They go by letters rather than numbers so that the students don't feel pressured by making a certain number. The green line shows the goal they need to meet by the end of the year. This information shows the results the students make when my mentor teacher does running records with the students. It tracks how many words per minute, and then she has a meeting with them to discuss how to improve. For our special education student, the student struggles to write with a pencil, so with this app on the Chromebook, the student is able to type his work and he is able to have a better understanding of what they're covering in class rather than just by writing on, a note, on the notebook. These next two pictures depict the goals that some of the students have for IT station. They have certain goals that they want to work towards and these cards help these students keep up with their goals. If they succeed in passing their goal, then they get a reward and create a new goal with my mentor teacher. They write down how many points they want to move up in iStation and work towards that. In this picture, it depicts a higher level student who much prefers to write more rather than draw pictures. This is in the student's free write journal where they are free to write whatever they want to about the books that they read. In the last picture, it shows the opposite. It's a lower level student in the classroom who preferred to draw pictures rather than write more than one sentence, but they're still able to comprehend the books they're reading. Mambrino Elementary showed me so many things that I would not have gotten unless I did my placement school. They showed cooperative forms of cooperative learning and enrichment, which is something that is very important in an elementary school.